hi guys Jennifer here welcome back to my channel I am back to work on this envelope journal that we started I did do quite a bit of decorating um, kind of added some appliques and sparkly appliques and these are all appliques and flowers and trims from crafty me shop I have my design team package out here and I am working on that. And so I thought I would just go ahead and try to bring you along. I haven't decided where I'm going next with this because I've already done quite a bit, but I do have a pocket in the front here and I have um, lace master board. And then I've got like a bunch of different pieces of ephemera and stuff that I've started throughout here. So um, I've done quite a bit, but I do need to work on these pages. So I've got one, two, three, four, and then this back page. So I do have quite a bit left. I did stick this journaling card in here just because I thought that that looked pretty. Um, even though it is sideways, I still think I like the birds in there. So, let's see, what can I add to this pretty little journal? So I have some of this lace. And what I've been doing, basically, is taking pieces of the different laces and kind of adding them together and making like a little snippets of lace here and then just sewing them and it gives a little bit of some movement and intrigue i think when you look at it so this is a piece of a collar i'm not sure what i did with it and then on the spine i added this um rosette trim so it looks really pretty and that is also from crafty me shop so this pretty lace is well i just made a little tiny little flip up there and then there's like this little pocket little pocket over here So I had made these clusters before and it kind of inspired me to make some more of these little snippets and they're super easy, but they're pretty, you know? So let's see, I have this piece of lace. Go ahead and cut a piece of that. We can make a snippet for the side here. Let's see. I love this one because it has the swirl on it. We could do that. Oh, here's that collar that I used. So this would be fun. I could cut a piece of, let's see. Let's cut this here. And use a bit of it. Looks pretty. So, you guys, how is everything going? Hope you guys are doing well. Let's add a piece of this here. I 
probably like this on the edge. So maybe this can go here, something like that. And then we need a little mesh piece here. Cut this off here. And let's put that on here like that and then I'm gonna go ahead and add a piece of this furry stuff okay and then we'll put this one here And then I'm just going to sew that up real quick. All right. So there we go. And we have a little snippet cluster there. You can add like a button. That would be pretty, wouldn't it? Let's see how much space that takes. Why don't we go ahead and add that little button there? I'm just going to use hot glue for now. And then we'll add it right on. So what that does is it, to me, it adds a little interest on this edge of the journal, but it also adds a little interest to that particular envelope as well. And it just adds the softness that I love to the journal. Without it being just a piece of lace there. So in here, I just have that journaling card. So you could... I don't really think it needs anything, but you could add a tab. But because it's so close to the edge of the journal, I just left it like that. And then this one comes out the top, so I could, if I wanted to, add something at the top there. It would be kind of cute to add a piece of this. Maybe like, yeah. So I'm just cutting this like this. And I'm gonna put that at the top. Okay, just gives a little bit of interest there at the top, so you know some things in there. All right, so. A lot of the trends that I have here are quite large for this journal. This journal is a little, um, I don't know, kind of like a small, on the smaller side. So there's not a whole lot to cover up. So for this one, all I did was use this as a tuck. I feel like it needs something else.
this little piece of whatever, stick it in there. I have some really gorgeous fabrics that I need to come up with a really pretty something with them. I need to figure something for them. Let's see, I have a piece of lace that I put a scrap piece somewhere over here. There it is. Let's put that in there. So it's supposed to get pretty chilly. Um, Christmas. That'll be interesting. Christmas Eve and Christmas. It's going to be so cold. Alright, let's see. For this one, I haven't decided what I want to put in here because I really, really love this. I probably should have made that the journal card. Or maybe I can make another journal card with the same little cabin image and I might do that. Let's see. This one. So I started pulling stuff from my um, nostalgic dreams because it, it definitely goes. So I might put something there. Not 100% sure yet. And then this one is just like that. I like that you can see almost the whole picture there. And it would be really cool to make, like maybe to use a pretty lace trim here on the edge. Maybe one of these. This is so gorgeous, this trim here. I really, that would, it's like a cover piece, you know? Maybe I might put a little piece there. Wouldn't that be so pretty? That would be so gorgeous. Or even hang it under here. Oh, that'd be so pretty. I might just do that. But for now... Oh yeah, I have another piece um, that I used, uh, that I made. So let's add that last piece here. Well, since the other ones are sewn, it would be funny if that was the only one that wasn't sewn. Unless I added a pretty element on top. Let me see. A cute little charm there. This will be cute here. And then... It won't be, seem like it was an accident. All right, so isn't that so cute? And then that will stick out there also. We could do it like this. And that there. Or we could do it at the top. Up there. I think it would look the best at the top as far as the book, but of course I like it down at the bottom. But I think as far as overall like placement, yeah, let's do it up here. So we're gonna go ahead and add some of the hot glue here. And you can still get into the pocket. And you have a cute little fluffy there. Isn't that so sweet? So I think I'd like to add, let's see. These are some journaling cards there. Might add a little bow. Just tweak it a little. There's just little tiny things that you could do to add um, 
finalizations to your journal. Okay, let's add a Tammy bow here. <laughs> and I need to get my... Sorry, silk. Okay, let's make a little Tammy bow. Super easy. Okay, and then we'll tie this around here. Super cute. Glue that there. And you can always hang a dangle there if you want to. But that looks so cute back here, sticking out player so I think this journal is coming along and I think I might add this gorgeous piece here this trim is so pretty All right I'm gonna put it right here on this edge love it oh was I gonna do it there or was I gonna do it up here hmm I actually think I like it there better Wow, that's so pretty. Might have to add another piece here, but we'll see. Okay. All right, guys, so that's kind of where I'm gonna leave it today. I know it wasn't a whole lot, but I just wanted to touch base with you guys, let you know how it's coming along on this cute little envelope journal. And I'll finish up the touches and I'll show you the final flip through. All right, guys, thanks so much for stopping by, and I hope you have a Merry Christmas and you are enjoying your week this week, and I will talk to you real soon. Bye for now.